All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For our next deck, uh, last deck of the night for tonight, this is going to be Sultai Climb. So we know that Sultai is is very good, right? The Sultai mid-range deck. Uh, this is a little bit different version of the deck where we're not playing WoW Growth Walker. Instead, we're going with a Growth Chamber Guardian and Incubation Druid because we're playing Hadana's Climb, which really, Hadana's Climb is just an incredibly powerful card. I could see regular Sultai even um, adapting this card. Hmm. Pun intended? No pun intended? I don't know. You can choose at home whether that was or not. Uh, into their main deck because it is so good. Oh, Hawkeye, you want the spotlight? Yep. Hawkeye's a full-time Twitch streamer. So, there we go. That's, that's what we're going to try. Hey, Trauma. Thanks for the sub there, Trauma. Sub number 14 on the day. So, we're playing... Good old Sultai cards uh, with our Adapt stuff with Adonis Climb and seeing how it works out. I'm expecting it to do very well because all these Sultai decks are just filled with great cards. All right, number 14. Uh, what is your opinion on Thrash Threat going into War of the Spark? I don't... I don't know if, like, Thrash Threat... I mean, it does... I don't think it's... I don't think its stock is going to go up very much, basically. Uh, sure, you know, you get to do your damage to Planeswalkers at instant speed. Uh, you know, you do need your, your body and everything. Uh, you know, your creature and play and everything to go along with it. I I don't think that Thrash Threat will really move the needle too much in standard, honestly. So Hostage Taker could be awkward. Like this could be awkward if our opponent you know if our opponent's playing Sultai, I I want this Hostage Taker really bad. If our opponent is playing Simic Nexus or like some random Bant, Bant deck like Bant Nexus, I'm probably not gonna want this Hostage Taker. So it's kind of a tough call here early on by just seeing Breeding Pool. Yeah, previews, previews will probably start, preview season will probably start uh, the beginning of April sometime. Hasn't been like announced or anything. Hmm. I don't have lethal yet. You know, you don't really expect to have lethal turn four. Yeah, they had, they had Reclamation on turn three. You know, turn three having Reclamation plus Frilled Mystic. It's a great turn three. Which Planeswalker is my favorite? There's a lot of Planeswalkers I like. I am kind of starting to have Huatli be my favorite Planeswalker. Dinosaurs are pretty cool. Alright, so do they have a fog or instant speed removal spell? He 
Yeah, Angrath. Like Angrath. Eric with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Eric J. Enjoy all the awesome emotes. Get 22 really cool emotes for subscribing to the channel. And everyone's getting those hype boats in the, in the chat. Love it. All right, that means it'll be pack time after this. So I can go for the win, the win with Winged Temple of Araska, or I can just try to Hostage Taker. Unfortunately, I don't get to do both Hostage Taker plus Winged Temple. Um... I'm gonna go for the win. All right. The win worked. I'm not even sure if my opponent's playing Fogs. If they're playing, you know, like Biogenic Ooze main and stuff. Like, maybe they are. Maybe they're not. Oh, I forgot to change out the Duresses to the good Duresses. I almost missed that we had Duress in the deck. I was like, where's Duress? All right, so no find finality. This is 68. No cast down. So Hostage Taker and Climb, what do I think of those cards? We didn't see a ton of our opponent's deck. I can certainly see Hostage Taker like doing stuff. Hostage Taker and a Frilled Mystic's nice. I don't know, we'll go down to like two Hostage Takers. And then if I take out Zagana and Climb, I'm at 61. Yeah, we can take like Ooze and stuff too. But I don't really see anything else that I want to cut. I like the rest of these. And I do like Branch Walker. You know, want to get, we want to get out on the battlefield early and then have like our disdainful stroke negate, be able to finish this up. No, no, Bronzedon's perfect. We need Bronzedon. Climb is, I guess I've taken out a branch walker. Climb's really good against other creature decks, where you get to, you know, use the climb to fly over their blockers and that kind of stuff. If they're going to be just playing a bunch of spells, we don't really need to climb. Hey. No, okay. Yeah. You can chew on the pen, don't chew on me. Don't you on me, jump that. Um Go, Bronson on go. LeBrontodon's gonna dunk on our opponent, Hawkeye. Hey King, happy St. Patrick's Day. And then also King Toll, 
Have a good night. So yes, our opponent could play a Reclamation here, uh, but we'll have the Bronze on that can blow it up. But I, I think I need to get more power on the battlefield. That's pretty good. Attack! Maximum power. Dude, Chemistry's Insight is so good. Especially, you know, with Wilderness Reclamation for how much mana you get to generate there. These two are pretty incredible. Genicus was like maybe the best card our opponent could have. Our opponent's playing Bant Reclamation. Wow. Would have had our disdainful strokes instead of the gates. Meet my new right about friend. now. I don't really see how we win this now. Biogenicus was perfect for them. Yeah, no climb. That's true. If I if I would have just kept climbing. We have a chance, but no climb. All right, can you find us a hostage taker? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Need to draw an untapped land there. Really want to draw an untapped land. I guess I, when I ticked up Vivian before I took this Jade Light. This Jade Light doesn't really matter. I I should have probably just taken. There was an untapped land there. I should have taken that untapped land. Yeah, with us not finding another land, Hinchland Harbor instead of Jade Light Ranger. Certainly makes sense. 
right about now. Oh, I forgot about Brontodon. <laughs> Sorry, I was like just reading chat. Forgot we have Brontodon. Yeah, I I wish I would have just second mained, blown up this reclamation. Yes. It's too late now though. Sorry, I was looking at chat there and just for just forgot we had Brontodon. But yes, that. Definitely need to blow up that reclamation. Kind of seems like our opponent may not have anything, though. I don't know. They just passed. I don't know what they're doing. We now have negate available. Is this gonna work? So they had Krasis in their hands, so they could have just played Krasis instead of just this wilderness reclamation that could at least gained a little bit of life and not died. I don't know. Alright, wanna know. Oh really, Mercer? Nice. played against you before yeah that was weird so I guess I guess that's a win okay time to start playing a little better here for the rest of the league did not play that one very good probably focus a little more Footlight Fiend, Jund. Jundi aggro stuff. Yeah, the DD stands for Donation Decks. These are decks that... Um, these are not decks that I put together. These were decks that uh, people donated to C-Play. So I should probably play a little better than we did the, right there. Let's block the Fiend... No, block Firebrand. Firebrand can just shoot a Growth Chamber Guardian by itself. Um, with its trigger and with Judith's trigger. Right, Krasis at least, sure, we could kill Krasis with... Huh. Yes, we got to kill Krasis with um, Vivian, but they would at least gain life and be out of lethal range. Does I have two cards in hand? Judge. Oh, I need to get a pack after this. Forgot about getting that pack.
Judge just subbed at tier three for the second month streak. I've learned so much from watching your streams. Keep up the awesomeness. Thank you so much, Judge. A tier three sub. I really do appreciate that. Whoa, everybody, let's get some hype in the chat for our new tier three sub. So, Judge, uh, with a tier three sub, you, uh, you can have a donation deck. That's what you get for each month for uh, the tier three sub. So, anytime. Uh, you know, it's just, it's nothing that expires or anything like that whenever you'd like a donation deck. If you ever find anything that you would like, um, just let me know and uh, we'll get you there. Darth Taco! Also getting that sub in here on the fourth month streak. Thanks, Darth Taco. That's sub number 17 on the day there. Three, six. What did our opponent just do last turn? Did they just ping us? <laughs> yeah, tier 3 subs higher than tier 3. Ah, uh, their auto tap didn't leave them a red source, so that's why they spent the four and couldn't goblin. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry about that, opponent. All right, we're playing against an aggro deck. Let's get these cast downs, moment cravings, Lebronsodon. Y'all can all come on in. And hmm. I think if we're trying to stay alive, not so sure about Hadana's climb when we're trying to stay alive. Biomancer's familiar is okay, but I think the, the card quality on this in this deck is so high that you just don't need Biomancer's familiar, really. Uh, I think I think that's kind of it. That you just don't need that card. I think I'm gonna cut the land war elves. They just kind of die by like random ping triggers. Um, you know, we get to be slower, like our, our control deck here. I think I can just get rid of the land war elves. Okay, Azorius Aggro is almost ready. Well, they're playing Land of Worlds. What are they ramping into? Turn 2 Theater? Turn 2 Theater for us? Be a pretty good turn 2. Go, boo. I do not want to see a Judith opponent. I do not want to see a Judith. Okay, it's not a Judith. I like not Judith. Okay, uh, have I tried a teamer variant? A teamer variant of the with all the adapt stuff. Yeah, 
it. <laughs> yeah, somewhat Azorius aggro. Azorius ish aggro. I do want to have the Vivian kill this Theater of Horrors. But we're going to wait a turn. I'm going to adapt one of these Incubation Druids. Uh, team or climb. Okay. Uh, I have not played a team or climb. Well, I mean, I, whenever the set first came out, yeah, I played some, but. Um, don't remember exactly how it did. Hey, what's, what are you doing? Just throwing pens around? Hey, get over here. What are you doing? Making a mess. Um, let's do that blocking. I should have Incubation Druid block a 1-1. The other one. That was a bad auto tap. I obviously wanted to tap this druid plus these five so I could have the this incubation druid cast the moment of craving. That was a bad auto tap. Yeah, that was not very good. Let's t this is nothing. <laughs> right? Why is all this stuff on the table? And especially... I have, like, my trash can. Ugh. Right underneath that, too. And... So then sometimes Hawkeye will just knock stuff into the trash can. Like, I, I couldn't find my TV remote for, like, two days until I, you know, eventually kind of thought, well, what if... Oh, I meant to, meant to kill the Judith. I think that was the whole point of me waiting and having the Judith out. Sorry, I was talking about my story. Man, today's just not my day. Uh, today's not my day. But yeah, I found, found the remote like, way started. under there eventually. Let's do this again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a punt. can't handle the three fives. I don't know if a concession was necessary there. They could attack with their two two ones. So if they attack with the two ones, um, you know, one of those two ones would still kill my three three then, you know, after it has the two damage on it, the three five with two damage on it. Pack. All right, we're getting two packs after this now, since since I missed that, Jason. Thank you. All right, we're getting two packs after this next match. Ooh, good curve filler. Double pack. All right, mono red. This is a pretty good hand against mono red. I uh, I guess I'm just gonna let the growth chamber guardian get bolted. Yeah, I don't think we really have much of a choice there because I want to. Want to just curve out? <laughs> Shame concede. All right, that thing gets bolted. I'm looking at Zagana towards doing a lot for us. 
I want untapped mana, not shock land mana. I want an untap non-shock land mana. So we're at eight. Shocking puts us down to Alright, good. Not a shock land. Alright, Zagana should hopefully slow our opponent down here. Uh, we have the 12 shocks in here. Oh, yeah. There are just... Or, no, no. There's four forests. So, there's not... There's no drowned catacomb. So there's no Dragon Catacomb, there's four forests instead. Most ulti lists are playing... Um, most ulti lists are just playing... The... Uh, playing all the, the shock lands. It's easier to play all the shock lands when you have Wild Growth Walker, of course. But the shock lands are... Usually what's being played here. So let's get these three moments, our two Bronzedon, and some negates. And I'm going to cut find finality, cut climb. I don't know. They could... I guess we have Bronzedons for Frenzy. No, Dress isn't bad against Red. Dress is, dress is only bad in, like, the very late game. You know, like, after they empty their hand. You have to have a Dress right away before they start emptying their hands kind of thing. If they're playing Chain Whirler, I don't really want Lana War Elf. Maybe we'll just get rid of those and get a couple Dresses in. Oh, let's grab that cast down. We got two Negate, two Dress. Like duress is better early, negates better later, right? Like that's that's how that's kind of kind of work out there. We'll go with the two two. Split there. Hey, that's awesome, Mike. You tell Brian I said congrats. Shock, 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 shock. All shocks, all day. Never not shocking. Okay, I guess we won't shock next turn. <laughs> is this jank moist Golgari? Not really. I think this is like just, you know, pretty good. Moist Golgari. I don't think this is... I want to really say this is a janky deck. Alright, so Bronzedon's a better blocker. Yeah, let's just play Bronzedon. It's a better blocker. Hey, Yud. Yep, got online for the last deck of the night. It's going okay. Today hasn't been my hasn't been my day. I haven't played the best. I don't really feel the best. I didn't get like a ton of sleep last night and stuff. It's just I'm a little off today. You know, you have like your off days. That's that's me today. Oh, I should. As you can see, I'm gonna get like some shock land. Yep, that I didn't play in, in tapped now. I'm gonna do that next turn though. Hopefully our opponent can't deal 14 damage to us with their two cards in hand. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'm thinking about taking Tuesday off. Uh, and not streaming on Tuesday. That is a... current consideration of mine. I do want Hydrocrasis for four. So yeah, I think I'm a, my opponent was expecting instant speed removal if they attack. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, Crimson and Gatsby definitely got did enough for me to take a holiday, absolutely. Yeah, Crimson came in today and noticed the Gatsby had the one, number one spot and said, I will not stand for this. If I try to hostage take her, the Viachino Pyromancer. Uh, they could, you know, have like a lightning strike in hand that they just, you know, kill my hostage taker before it takes it kind of thing. I think I like just playing the Krasis out first. Alright, Demanding Dragon, huh? I'll take five. Down to nine. Let's take her that thing. Really hope my opponent doesn't draw a burn spell here. Really, really hope. No burn spell, please. They do draw the burn spell. I'm sacking the incubation druid. Hooray, no burn spell. <laughs> oh, yeah, you... You help out a ton. I'm glad. I'm glad you're always here and chatting everything every day. Uh, and thanks, Gatsby. So yeah, my plan, I think my plan right now is to, again, to take Tuesday off, and then I think maybe next Sunday, a week from today, we'll see. I have a a, fin a uh, fantasy baseball draft with some friends uh, back in Texas uh, next a week from today. I don't know exactly what time that will be. I mean, if I'm not playing the Druid now, I'm just never playing it. Might as well play it now. Alright, JR. Us trading one for one with our opponent, you know, like they shock the druid, they shock the Jade Light Ranger. Them not having creatures that get to continually deal damage to us. That's very good for us, you know, like we... Uh, we have cards that are much better than one for ones. In our hand, specifically Hydroid Krasis. This is an awkward hand though with no no more mana. Oh, watch out. I don't I don't travel on the SCG tour anymore. This is 
what I do here. Uh, stream of magic. Come on, land. I do not want to see Frenzy from my opponent's side. They could sack the Firebrand to kill the Pyromancer. Okay, they didn't do it. Didn't do that. I'd like to draw like the blue source. I would have liked to draw a blue source to be able to... Um, counter a Frenzy. Man, this is crazy. We started with a three land hand. We've gone, we've gone from 53 to 41. We've drawn 12 cards, not a land. Um, then. Not a land. <laughs> uh, even, just, you know, drawing a blue source there, we could at least hostage taker the dragon. But, uh, yeah, best of luck on the, on the new job there, Yun. That's usually what the explore creatures do, right? Like, you know, you have all your explore creatures, you, you know, get to filter through your draws and find your lands. That was just a, a very unlucky game. I don't know what the chances was of uh, seeing 13 non-land cards in a row, but it couldn't have been very high. Yeah, only yep, we only got the two climbs in here. Cuz it's uh I don't know. I I didn't put the deck together. You know, that's the the whole donation deck part. Swamp. So I I can shock and attack them for one or not. Nah. Um But Hadon's climbs really good. It's not usually a card you want to draw, you know, multiples in, because, like, the first one's a lot better than the second one you draw, and so on. It has diminishing returns. Yeah, we could use a Krasis. This is a very rampy hand. Abzan. Mortify. No. Not Abzan Mortify. So I'm one mana off, three, four. So I spend five to adapt this druid, and then I have four mana. So I'm, I'm one mana off of adapting this druid, and then playing. I'm, I'm going to do. I'm still going to do this. I'm going to do that and just play these out. And not, you know, won't be playing Growth Chamber Guardian. Uh, if we had an extra man, I could have gone Growth Chamber Guardian plus Adapt. I don't want to throw Growth, Growth Chamber Guardian out without adapting it. Um. Alright, now time to play a bunch of Growth Chamber Guardians. They could have killed that one instant speed. I could have dealt one extra point of damage if I wasn't as lazy. There and tapped the druid instead of the land war elf. Hmm. 
Dr. Fro says the chances of drawing the three or fewer lands was 0.7%. That's not going to happen very often. this thing. Alright, we have a lot of power on the battlefield. Our Akaya's Wrath from our opponent would be kind of bad for us. Just a little bad for us. We have 20 power on the battlefield. Oh, tick up, tick up, go up. Evil must not be tolerated. Uh, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I have hostage taker. Never mind, they're just dead. Oh, Damien, is that you that we're playing against? <laughs> there is great power in the beast. Ah, stop. Okay. Hey, Damien. Alright, so we're gonna hostage take this thing. And attack. Alright, game two. So, Abzan control ish don't need climb it really seem like cast down was necessary I think we just want discard counters yeah I'm gonna try this Yeah, I, I don't really complain too much about people stream sniping and stuff. It's just not something that I can, uh, not something that I'm like going to control. I guess I could possibly control it, but not something I can really control. Um, you know, if our if my opponent wants to watch what I'm doing while I'm streaming, you know, they get to. Not nothing I can really do about it. I don't like Hinchlin Harbor, Hinchlin Harbor for our opener. Um, but I do like Branch Walker. I'm try, you know, we're on the draw. We can hopefully draw an untapped land here before this Branch Walker. Ugh. Not good. All right, so much for this hand. No, I don't want to put like a three minute delay. I don't want to like make the viewing experience worse for the other 1,238 people we have in here. It's, it's no big deal. All right, Contempt and Karn. We'll take the Karn. So 
So opponent has the Kaiser Wrath this game. Did not have the Kaiser Wrath last, last game. Um, I'm just going to crease this for two. Cycle. There we go. I don't want to play my other Growth Chamber Guardian and have it die and then not be able to get anything from it. So we'll just play Cycle Krasis. Both. Our opponent did fire off. Like, I don't think our opponent's, like, watching right now. Honestly. Balance comes. I think if they're watching, they don't fire off. I don't think they fire off that uh, contempt when I have a Vivian. Oh, you are, Damien? Oh, you should have saved. You should have saved your contempt for Vivian. You can't stop nature. Uh, four, five, six. <laughs> gotcha. You want to punish yourself for watching? And do that. All right. All right. So this is kind of the problem with Carnage Tyrant in this metagame with Krasis. Carnage Tyrant just gets outclassed by Krasis so, <laughs> so much as we see like, like the that, two huh? cards trade, yet I got to draw three cards uh, with the Krasis. And so that is the main reason why we don't see too many Carnage Tyrants around these days. Balance comes. <laughs> Damien saying hello in here because somebody in chat said, if you're the real opponent, say hello. Challenge. Okay, so not putting another creature out because of Kai's Wrath. I'm not countering Kai's Wrath with the negate. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Because protecting Vivian is like the only thing that matters. No, I mean, our, yeah, basically, the one, the one thing that Damien should have done differently is not contempted uh, and save contempt for Vivian. If they would have done that, uh, then this could be a different story. I've seen things that would break. Yeah, that was more like for other you. people. I know. Yeah, Damien, I know you. You know that was more for other people. All right, good game, Damien. So there we go. Uh, three and one now with Sultai Climb. Moving ever closer to that final boss. All right, we're finally gonna get those two packs that we uh, were missing before. Thanks, Jason. I remember there was something I was supposed to be doing. And there we go. So we're going to get an M19 and an Ixalan pack. These are getting these packs because of our sub goals uh, that we're hitting over here. We're three away from our next one. All right, so what do we got with Corset 2019 first? 
Oh no, 20 gems. No, we're out of rares for M19 now. No. All right, well, that's all the rares. All right, Ixalan, you're our only hope. Okay, we still got at least one more. At least, at least that rare left. Angrath's Marauders. Um, so there we go. All right, three and one. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you can send the link here in chat, and we can check it out, see how, you know, see if there's, um, yeah, you can always do that. Yeah, put cash in originally. I haven't put cash in in a long time, and I don't, I don't know if I'll ever have to put cash in again, honestly. Watery Grave, Watery Grave. Um, okay, so you just you need sideboard cards for Simic, for just a Simic deck. Watery Grave, Watery Grave. I'm thinking Mulligan. Icap says this is a keep. I'm pretty sure this is a Mulligan. Yeah, I'm going Mulligan. Um, so for Simic deck, get, get all the rest of the negates in there, get a couple of Disdainful Stroke, get some Kral Harpooners. Basically just look at my Simic Adapt list and just take this, the same sideboard cards I have in there. They're good. Get Crushing Canopy, a couple of Ripjaw Raptors, some Vivians. I don't know. You got Immortal Sun though. Maybe not Vivian. Carnage Tyrant. Um, keeping Land of War Elves there could certainly do that because we'd have like the three mana to spend Growth Chamber Guardian and Land of War Elf. May not have been the worst to keep there. Yeah, basically, uh, yeah, those will be the main targets. But then also, you want Counter Magic and for control, Crushing Canopies, I mean, Bronze and Ons. Bas you can basically just copy paste the Simic Adapt. Um, sideboard and go from there in a deck like that. It is unclear if that mulligan change, the London mulligan rule, will be adapted into magic. That uh, mulligan rule will be tested at a mythic championship tournament in the end of at the end of April. So nothing to announce about that until then. Don't seem too concerned about my hostage taker that they know about. Playing the land we're off because you know we, we want to draw a want to have a four four hydro crisis next turn, if possible. Respect. Seeing, seeing if I could get an extra point of damage in there. 
fun I had no respect. Blocked that real fast. Um, didn't respect me having, you know, basically what I'm, what I'm saying there is, um, my opponent had no respect that I, like, you would think that I would just not throw a 1-1 one, one into a 2-2, two, two, and so I must have, like, something or some reason to be doing that, uh, that could potentially get, uh, I could potentially... You know, kill their thief of sanity. But I didn't. So the opponent has six cards in hand. Chemistry's inside over there. They don't have any mana too much. They have like the four lands. So they're really stuck with. Um, stuck with not having a whole lot of mana to cast their spells. Yeah, I'm I'm playing the down the list here on the the corner here. Um silent we're uh so we are now we moved from Azor Saga, we're now on Sultai Climb and so on. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah, so that this is like my the list of decks that we're playing each and every day you can find uh right there. Yeah, this is a donation deck Sunday. So I guess I have that up a little bit too much there. There we go. Hmm. Had all donation decks today. These are all uh, decks that I did not uh, put together. Should have taken the nickel bolus. If I take the bolus there, they hostage take my hostage take to get their bolus back. They have eight cards in hand. They're still not drawing land.
Not in a great spot. Definitely wish Cast Down could actually kill something. Something that matters. Yeah, uh, you can... Yeah, Ella Sandor, you can check out the YouTube channel right above you. You can see the Simic Elves there. Ugh. All right, going to going to game two. Uh, Spinter with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Spinter. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate that. All right, so they are going to be Thief of Sanding and Nickel Bolusing and all that kind of stuff. Let's get another find finality. Um, the same full strokes really not that bad. Castown does kill Thief of Sanity, but it's not really a, a battle I want to fight too much. I don't know, is it? Yeah, Hawkeye, I'm not sure what we want to do here. No, you're automatically subscribed to your own stream. Um. Because, like, if I have all these duress and negates, they just, you know, play their creatures, play with Thief of Sanity, Nicol Bolas, and just kill me with those. Yeah, I guess Craving's probably just a better cast down, isn't it? The, the only way cast down is better is if they have Doom Whisperer. But Craving can like shrink a Nicol Bolas uh, in like a, a clutch attack kind of thing. I think maybe I'm off Hostage Taker. Hostage Taker is going to just cost a whole lot of mana. And as we saw, like, that game, like, I would have, like, a hostage taker, but they would just kill my hostage taker. Is there a deck filled with instant speed removal? Yeah, we could certainly want Disdainful Stroke. Depending on like the cards they have. And for how their hand looks right now, the an that answer would be absolutely. I wish I had the sample stroke right about now. We'll see if they drew a, a two mana removal spell. Hopefully the answer is no. Act, they're sure acting like they drew a two mana removal spell. So I didn't just adapt my. Because of how they're acting, I didn't just adapt my Growth Chamber Guardian. Waited for the. You know. Just dealt two and everything. Yeah, I know. I'm not using the fancy art dress. I don't like it. 
they need to take fine finality because if they don't then I just you know get the chamber guardian plus whatever they take back and I wish I was using the duress they are very greedy they wanted me with that cast down they were very very greedy I think they should have just cast down on my turn but they they wanted me to untap and spend my three mana and then they would respond with the cast down so they wanted just to take my the mana on my turn it's a really greedy play I don't think that I think we're like really far behind here against a taker and in and a nickel bolus I, I really want to draw Vivian we'll see if we actually do so this is gonna be kind of a tough game for us to win anyway Well, this would be better as cast down right now for the hostage taker. At least moment gets discarded by Bolas. All right, so if I play if I play the new growth chamber guardian, they get to just uh, take the new growth chamber guardian. Um, but thief is a good draw. Is pretty dead. I didn't end up sideboarding very well. I guess I should have just gone with a lot more removal for their creatures and everything. I just don't have very good removal for Nicol Bolas. I guess I should just be playing like cast downs and stuff. I don't know. We just need more Vivians in our deck. We have two. We just need to draw Vivian. We just don't have Vivians. Two is not enough Vivian. The fact that they threw their hostage shaker down like that probably means that they have another removal spell for a crisis. I'd really like to draw, like, find finality would, like, find finality is like our best draw, honestly, just finalitying their board. Yep. So can we draw find finality? There's three in the deck. Right, I think I boarded in a third. Come on, finality. Come on, finality. No. Nope. So that's a little bit of an inexperience on my part of sideboarding there. Basically, Honestly, we just don't, we don't really have like the removal spells that line up though, but uh, I think, I think I don't really need Duress Negate. Obviously with how, how that game played out, I, I need Disdainful Stroke. Uh, I didn't know they would have Hostage Shakers. Uh, I, yeah, Hostage Taker I wasn't really expecting, but if I known they would have had multiple Hostage Shakers, you know, I would have slammed these Disdainful Strokes immediately. But I wish I would have had Disdainful Strokes and just, I guess, and then keep the cast downs. Um, there instead of having dress negate moment of craving just go all cast down all disdainful stroke um so that's you know 
lesson lesson learned uh, there and everything. Um, I don't really mind that I took out hostage taker as we saw like how those that second game was my own hostage taker. I don't think would have been very good because they would have been able to do hostage take my hostage taker. Later on in the game, it would have been better when we had more mana. Um, but only playing two Vivians. Did not give her many Vivians. Uh, wow, I, I really do like Grill Chamber Guardian Incubation Druid quite a bit. We saw with uh, those games, Thiefus Sandy, Nicol Bolas just outclassed them quite a bit. Um... Such is life there, though. So that was Sultai Climb. Overall, I think, I think quite a bit worse. Or, I don't know about worse, but lower power version than regular Sultai. Um, wasn't too impressed with Zagana, uh, unfortunately, especially especially Zagana. Um, but climb can you know steal matches and everything, and growth chamber guardians good against removal heavy decks. Zagana though, there's just a lot better options. Like I would rather the Zagana be, you know, Vraska four mana Vraska or Vivian or Vraska Relic Seeker. You know, just like the Planeswalkers. The Planeswalkers are just so good in these decks. I think those are better than Zaganas. Um. We didn't have quite as much interaction as normal. Three hostage taker, two cast down. Again, I think we and you know only two Vivian. I th I think the Zaganas could again could be just some some planeswalkers there. Uh, um, you know, contempt is another option. I don't know if I was really missing contempt a ton, but so that's it for Sultai climb. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.